Hey guys, Cullyball3 here and welcome to episode 6 of Luck of the Draw Squad Builder. Now the idea behind the series is that I will open two gold packs, I'll take the highest rated player from each pack and build a team around those two players. I'll then do a review of the squad and count down the top three best players in the team. So let's get straight into it and open the two gold packs. Now we will be opening 15,000 packs as you do get quite a considerable amount more players in there. So it gives us a better variety when we are looking for some good players to build the team around. So in the first pack we do get Luis Fabiano who is a Brazilian striker. He plays in the Liga do Brazil for Sao Paulo. You can see there he has pretty average stats on his card but he is in a 4-3-2-1 formation. Now what we will be doing is building the team around one of the two formations from each player. Uh, so we get to pick between the two players. It makes it a bit more exciting rather than going with my own formation because that would get pretty boring after a couple of episodes. So Luis Fabiano was our first player out of the first pack and let's go in and open the second pack. And you'll see coming up here on the screen, we do get Gotze. Now he is a German central attacking midfielder who plays in the Bundesliga for a team called Borussia Dortmund. Uh, so a decent enough player. He's got some pretty good stats. Uh, quite pacey, decent dribbling, and he is in 3 4 2 1. So we will be going with 4 3 2 1 as our preferred formation. And you'll see coming up here some of the players that I did buy to uh, make this team. And there you can see team of the year Nene, we bought for 180k. And also, I got Hummels in center back for 120k. And another sign in you'll see coming up here is the big one team of the year Hulk, an absolute monster. Uh, with his stats on his card and there's the team that I did end up uh, building so quite a decent team You'll see the stats on the left hand side from the games that I did play I won a considerable amount of my games and the total value of the team was 892,000 coins so quite an expensive team But definitely worth it and you'll see there everyone does have nine chemistry even though there are a couple of dead links in the team But we will run really quickly through the team so we have checking goal a pretty uh, decent goalkeeper He's solid all round. he makes some crucial saves when you need him to and he even uh, did very well in a penalty shootout as you can see there he saved the winning penalty and our right back is Pizczek now he plays with Borussia Dortmund he's a Polish uh, right back he is absolutely unbelievable he's got pace to burn he's a great dribbler a great all-round player actually has very good finishing stats for a right back so definitely one to invest in he only costs around 80,000 so I definitely would pick him up he's a better alternative to inform lamb and we have Hummels there now I wasn't overly impressed with him he's decent at defending and heading he actually has pretty good stats on his card and he has decent pace but he does feel very sluggish from uh from time to time and he does get caught out of position uh, quite a bit so didn't enjoy him all that much probably just about worth his 120,000 price tag and David Luiz probably the best center back in the game in my opinion one of the biggest bargains in ultimate team I would definitely recommend going out and getting him and in for Marcelo there he is not a defender at all you'll see from his stats he's clearly a left midfielder due to his high attack and work rate he actually gets caught out of position quite a bit so uh, if you're looking for a defensive minded team he's definitely not one to pick up but he is very good at going forward and our first midfielder is Kaka. Now, I absolutely love Kaka. He's a great center midfielder, a great all-round playmaker, and just bosses it in the midfield. Definitely, definitely go pick him up if you are looking to build a Brazilian team or a Liga BBVA team. And you'll see there Luis Gustavo in a center mid. Now, he is just an absolute hustler. He just is a complete workhorse, works box to box. He's a lot like... Uh, Second in form, a Ra a Ramirez, but I definitely would go for Ramirez, and he is 50k cheaper in his second in form. And Gata is our last centre midfielder. Uh, pretty decent. He d didn't show up all that much, but when he did, he did a... Uh he did a fairly good job. You'll see there, he is a bit of a playmaker as well. Now, Hulk was by far the best player in the team. As you can see, he did get 22 of my goals, and he was an absolute monster. He just great finishing, great pace, great shooting. Everything about him was absolutely fantastic. Definitely go out and pick him up. His price tag is definitely worth it. And Luis Fabiano was probably the big shock of the team. I expected him to be uh, pretty average, but he actually popped up with some very nice goals for me. And he is a good all-round player with very, very good finishing so definitely go out and get him if you are low on coins and finally our left winger there uh, is team of the year Nene now he is an absolute monster his stats on his card are absolutely sick great player overall great finishing just an absolute monster definitely worth 180k so that's the team there guys really did enjoy playing with it uh, if I were you I definitely would pick up some of them players ones I would say to avoid are probably uh, team of the year Hummels 
and probably Luis Gustavo. You can get better alternatives, but a decent all-around team, and I really did enjoy playing with it. And let's count down the top three best players in the team. So in third place, we have Nene. Now, he is a left winger. Uh, who plays in the French League 1 for Paris Saint-Germain, and he is amazing. I mean, his stats on his card, as you can see there, are insane. I mean, 90 pace, 94 shooting, 93 passing and dribbling, and not only that, he has some absolutely sick hidden stats on his card, and one of them is 99 finishing. Now, you can't ask for much more in a left winger. He does remind me a lot of Cristiano Ronaldo in his style of play. The ball basically sticks to his feet. You'll see here, his dribbling is absolutely insane. He cuts this defender inside out, and he's got very, very very good skills and a great finish to boot definitely worth the 180k that he does cost and in second place we have Kaka and now this may be a surprise to some of you guys but he is one of my favorite players in the game you'll see there his finesse shot is absolutely insane now he doesn't have the best of pace but he does make up for it with his skills and his all-round playmaking he sets up some absolutely superb goals and he's just an all-round great player and he does score quite a few goals from the midfield so definitely one to pick up if you are looking for a good midfielder and you even see here he does score a penalty against Neuer who would have thought he could do that but we in first place we have Hulk now there's not much surprise that team of the year Hulk is number one in my top three countdown because he was absolutely insane for me I mean 22 goals in 20 games and they were all in cup games which makes him an absolute machine he was great for me he popped up when I needed him and he was a tank and a half I mean he has 92 pace 91 shooting 90 dribbling and he's also got four star skills uh, although he does only have three star weak foot you don't notice it all that much because he's just an absolute machine and on top of that he's got great finishing but his strength is absolutely just amazing I mean guys he is definitely worth the 280k that he costs because you'll see there he is a complete right winger he's got great head and stats as well but uh, on top of that guys I definitely would recommend going out and getting him if you don't it's definitely your loss he's a fantastic player but that's pretty much it for this episode guys I hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to hit that like button and if you haven't already definitely do go out and subscribe and i will see you next time guys